We previously calculated the pH of the buffer that is described in this problem here. And we determined the pH to be 9.247. This was the concentration of ammonia that's actually given in the problem, but with that previous work we determined that the ammonium, the NH4 plus concentration, was 0.748. Now we're asked to calculate the pH when we take a small amount of a strong acid and add it to the buffer. The buffer will neutralize that strong acid and take it out of the system and that's why it resists change to pH. So to work this problem we have to first write the reaction between that strong acid, which I always let H3O plus represent my strong acid and the portion of the buffer that will neutralize it, which would be the weak base. Ammonia is the weak base. And I will do a proton swap. The H plus from the acid is donated to the base, and that will turn the base into ammonium, and the H3O plus will be converted to water. So that is the reaction. Because the acid is strong, it is a one-way reaction, and we will you an ICF table and we will plug moles into that table. Now we're ready to go determine the moles of each of these substances. Let's begin with the moles of H3O plus. The moles of H3O plus would be the same as the moles of HCl. HCl. So if I know the molarity of the HCl, which I do, it's given to me in the problem, and I know the volume of the HCl, which I do, I will have the moles being 0 0.0002 moles. And I can plug that into the table. To get the moles of ammonia, we're going to take the molarity times the volume The volume that we'll use is the volume of the buffer of this portion of the titration. So we're using the 75 milliliters, not the 500 milliliters, because we're not titrating with all of that. This is going to give to me 0 0.05625 moles. Now that's an extra significant figure that I'm just going to carry along for now. And that's the moles of ammonia. Now before this reaction takes place, there's still some ammonium present because it's a buffer and it contains ammonium in the buffer. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate how much ammonium we're starting with. I'll take the molarity. Now this molarity we determined in the previous example problem that we did in the last learning objective. And we'll multiply by the 75 milliliters or the 0.075 liters here. And this is going to give me 0 0.0561 moles. and the water we can leave out. Now we're going to consume the smaller quantity and that would be the strong acid. And I will subtract it from both sides. and I mean from this side and add it to this side. This is going to leave me with none of the H3O plus. It's going to bring my ammonium down to 0 0.05605 going to increase my ammonium up to 0 0.0563. Now because I have present a weak acid, I mean a weak base, ammonia, and its conjugate acid, I have a buffer. And so the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation will apply. pH equals pKa. Well pKa is the negative log of the Ka. The Ka is Kw divided by Kb. Now I did not write the Kb in this problem but it was in the previous problem. It's 1.76 times 10 to the minus 5. That's the Kb of ammonia. So I want to divide by 1.76 times 10 to the minus 5. And I'm going to do the moles of the base over the moles of the acid. The moles of the base is sitting right here, 0 0.05605. The moles of the acid is sitting right here, so I point 0.0563, and that will give me a pH equal to 9.243. And as we look at this pH, 9.243,
we see that it is slightly lower than what the pH was of just the buffer. It's resisting change. It's not completely not changing at all, but it is resisting it ever so slightly. It is going down, and that is to be expected because you are, after all, adding an acid to the solution. So you'd expect the pH to be a little bit smaller or a little bit lower.